What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest hentai OS on this device. This ROM you could only flash it with the AOSP recovery not the orange box recovery. Well I have tried dozens of times to try this ROM I mean the best on Android 10 one. I wanted to try that ROM a lot of times on the Redmi Note 7 Pro I could not simply boot onto it with orange box recovery. But right now, let me tell you that is not the case anymore and as of today, you can flash this Android 11 based hentai OS on the Redmi K20 Pro with the latest Orange Fox Recovery R11. And here I have already done that and if you do not know how to flash a custom ROM on your device, you can click on the card right there and follow the guide that is a Android 10 ROMs flashing guide. But yeah, that would still work with a Android 11 ROM. And here I have been using this ROM for a couple of days and here are my impressions. By the way, this is the 31st October 2020 build over here. This is a OSS vendor based ROM, not a MIUI vendor based ROM. So that means it will replace your MIUI vendor with OSS vendor. And still I have tested all the things and the problems which was there on the Android 10's OSS vendor still exist over here. So that means whenever you are plugging in a headphone which has volume rockers, if you use the volume rockers, it won't actually control the volume and it will show some like white kind of things on the screen. So yeah, the OSS vendor issues still exist over here that is not gone. So yeah, be prepared. And this is about 1.7 GB, which you can say, yes, it is quite large. Also, it includes the G apps, of course, but there are a lot more things to it because like it has most of the Google apps that are there in a pixel device and yeah, this ROM really has pixel kind of features and let me actually tell you this does not come with customizations as of right now as of this 31st October build and if you look at the Android version of course this is Android 11 right here. Let me go back here we have the security patch as November 5th 2020 security patch and we have the Google Play system update as September 1st 2020 and the stock kernel over here is the immensity kernel. And if you notice the build number is listed over there inside system let me actually go to the advanced we do find a system updater but i'm not really sure if it will up, like update automatically with that system updater i think you have to use the aosp recovery if you want to use ot updates or use the system updater but right now i would just suggest flashing the latest build with orange box recovery and whenever you are updating watch this video if you don't know how to update a custom rom right now let me just go into the gestures and here in the power menu we have this sensitive content stuff and let me actually show you this is how the power menu looks like and as you can see i can straight away control my home lights from here as you can see if you are noticing let me actually turn this on okay so right now if you are noticing there are some changes over here if i turn it off so yeah this thing of course works because I have Google Home set up but there is no advanced reboot or stuff like that and here again we have the device controls let me go back we have the gesture kind of thing where you get the navigation gestures if you go into the settings we have the left and right edge gesture the Android 11's kind of gesture and there is also the three button navigation then we have the quickly open camera stuff so yeah that's there and we have the pop-up camera settings with this you have the pop-up camera LED disabling option then we have some sound effects when you are opening or closing the front camera the pop-up camera I mean and that will make this kind of sound you can also disable the sound if you don't want it and here we of course have this motor calibration if your like front camera is stuck or something you can calibrate it from here I guess and there is the default keyboard as Gboard now let me actually talk about some problems which I faced first I have been facing really laggy like UI over here. I am not sure if you are gonna be able to see it on camera. Let me actually take a screenshot over here so that I can show you if I right now edit. And if I do this, maybe you can see it is a little bit jittery sometimes. Right now it is not like doing that much of stuttering. But yeah, I have seen sometimes like whenever I am going, if you are noticing like sometimes, let me actually, okay. So if you are noticing, Whenever I'm going to the recent panel, just notice how sluggish it is. Let me go home and let me go over here and let me actually, okay. So yeah, did you notice that right now it's fine again and again, it was starting. So even while watching YouTube videos and stuff, it gets stuck here and there. And I have faced problems so big that like I had to reboot the device or force reboot the device at least twice over here. So I won't quite recommend you flashing this ROM right now. 
that is one thing to mention over here that yes the ui just gets stuttery or gets stuck here and there whenever i'm playing youtube or doing a little bit of heavy task like taking a screenshot and editing it just a little bit or cropping it and another thing while charging it did not show me any kind of like charging notification like on the battery it does not show anything only if you look at this notification led on the front camera over here on this pop-up camera then you will see the blue light is turned on that means it's charging otherwise it was not showing me it is charging at all on the battery settings or even on the like lock screen it was not showing but sometimes it does show up but most of the time i have seen whenever i'm charging it does not show me that i'm actually charging weird thing over here so yes the ui just freezes sometimes and it is really not a like good experience over here i would say in my daily driving experience i'm not like crying about it but yeah i have had bad experience with this rom as of right now but of course with future updates i expect it to get a lot better another thing i thought about mentioning over here is this like keyboard if you're noticing this is of course default keyboard or google keyboard or gboard if you're noticing this bottom part these are like pretty long and it is really uncomfortable to type and even on other android 11 roms this was not the case i think this is this has something to do with the uh, dpi of the screen or something but yeah this bottom part is too long and whenever i'm typing this keyboard area or even the keys a little bit longer i feel and one more thing that i want to talk about over here is the like icons the vaulty icon or even there is no headphone jack icon whenever i'm plugging in a headphone with the 3.5 mm jack there is no headphone jack icon or even vaulty icon over here but yes vaulty calls are actually working fine without any issues now let's talk about the good things of this rom i have to talk about the like google pixel kind of features that are present in this rom first off the bubbles are actually working i'll show some screenshots over here and as you can see the bubbles of like any kind of app like messages app that is working super fine here whenever i'm getting a message it comes into a bubble so that looks really cool i would say and you can set it for other apps which supports it so yeah that bubbles are actually working fine and one thing that is really great over here which is working i would say that is not working in most of the rooms that is the google assistant so if i right now say trigger alert okay google as you can see it turns on the google assistant pretty easily so that's not an issue let me try it again hey google what's the weather okay so it does not say it or something or maybe because my phone is in silent mode that's why so yeah this google assistant is actually working flawlessly that is not an issue and here as you just saw the ok google detection is working totally fine and again as you can see and i can swipe up from the corners to get the google assistant again so that is really cool we have the google assistant working fine and even other pixel features like bubble and stuff is there also this google's recorder app is there and as you can see with this you can transcribe the audio in real time and whatever i'm saying it's showing on the screen so yeah this feature also works over here and by the way the stock wallpaper looks like this as you are seeing over here and there are more wallpapers like these come alive section and if you go into textures you have a lot more wallpapers again let me go back and if i go into the settings of the launcher this is actually the pixel launcher as you are noticing and here with this pixel launcher we do have this suggestions disabling option so that is good but normal pixel launcher here and here swiping down gets you to the notification panel to the left we have this google's discover page swiping up gets you to the app drawer and the widgets are actually working fine here and talking with the quick settings panel again this is how it looks like and you can edit and add more toggles over here but i could not simply find the fps counter option but there is the screen recording option with which you can actually record individually the microphone audio or the device audio or the system audio then you can record the system audio and the microphone audio at the same time with the screen recorder so that is a good thing but again while i'm recording the screen the ui just gets stuttery let me actually show you let me start recording and if it's recording i hope okay so right now it's fine yeah right now it's recording it fine but sometimes i have seen it like getting stuttery here and there so yeah that's how it is but right now it did not do that let me go into the settings in the battery settings this is how it looks like we have the screen on time then the last full charge battery percentage you can enable that battery manager and stuff is there now this screen on time is kind of broken as you can see it's showing 19 hours of screen on time 
but that is simply not true if i go into this like full battery usage you're gonna notice as you can see it went 100 percent but it did not reset the time of this battery usage then it went 100 percent like twice even then it did not reset this battery stats so that's how it is right now and yes the battery bug is still there that it does not show that charging thing so that is why it happens so right now as you can see i've been using it for like more than a day it shows over here and i have charged it a couple of times and yeah the battery life is about seven to eight hours of screen on time but definitely not 19 hours of screen on time pretty sure let me go back in the display settings we have the brightness level dark theme etc night light you can turn on then adaptive or auto brightness is there there is the styles and wallpapers again and you can add a custom theme and there are some fonts that you can choose from and there are a lot of icons too and as you can see a lot of accent colors are there but you have to go to this styles and wallpaper section to actually choose from these accent colors let me go back and from here let me actually go to this colors option it has the natural boosted saturated and adaptive colors and here we have the display size screen saver lock screen settings and always on display is there the double tap to wake is actually working but in the whole ui there is no double tap to sleep or any customizations like that don't even think about these like swiping on the status bar to increase or decrease brightness those things are simply missing here we have the ambient display kind of features let me go back in the sounds here we have the vibrate for calls then if i go into this like advanced section we have this media option so it will show any kind of media on the like quick settings panel over here then we have the live caption mode this is again a pixel kind of feature it is working super fine here without any issues then now playing songs is there whenever a song is being played in the background it will show on the lock screen and then if you scroll down we have this charging sound charging vibration etc disabling option no screenshot sound disabling option as of right now and by the way there is no three finger screenshot gesture again and here you have to take a screenshot just from here and as you can see even though the phone is in silent it still makes that sound and we do have this me audio Dirac, so with which you can set it to youth edition or stuff like that then you can change the sound preset to any of these and that should work fine the sound quality is fine and this is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this and hi-fi audio Dirac is there again let me go back to the security here we do not have much things just the pixel imprint no face unlock no app, app lock etc so let me just quickly show you the figment scanner speed from the always on display always on display is actually quite dim and the default color of the figment scanner is actually like cyan as you can see and with both of my finger with always on display did work fine the figment scanner is not an issue over here but yes that like if you consider with daily driving with this rom i don't really recommend you just because of that stuttering here and there right now let me just turn on night light and from here let me unlock from the lock screen and it did unlock right now let me just double tap and as you can see the double tap to wake is actually working fine so if i tap the fingerprint scanner with night light turned on it is still unlocking so yeah the fingerprint scanner is very reliable over here no issues with that the stock camera well this is a really good thing that we have the google camera 7 as the stock camera and it has a lot of features like as you can see there is the image quality and stuff that you can set then you can choose to like wide angle and telephoto lens so that's good that we are getting this as a stock camera over here as a next camera is nowhere in sight as of right now until 2021 we have to wait and night set and stuff with this google camera 7 should be working fine there is also this astro max time and stuff and you can set it to infinity if you want to focus infinity is there so yeah night set and stuff is working totally fine you can shoot videos if you want to of course then we have this fhd and 4k both option you can shoot up to 30 fps for some reason there is no 60 fps as of right now even for the rear camera i don't know why then inside mode we have this panorama slow motion and time lapse i am not sure if those will work but yes the stock camera is a google camera and that is nice the drm info shows as level one here so that means you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p here and in terms of banking apps i have faced no issues with banking apps here and the google pay and stuff everything is working flawlessly without any issues so that means you can use your banking apps without any issues and i'll show the android and geekbench score right now now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management right now now let's open play store youtube 
Well, surprisingly, the stuttering is right now gone like totally while shooting this video. But all along, I have been facing the EY stuttering and it was like pathetic. But right now, I don't know how it is not stuttering anymore at all. Let me actually open some more apps like Amazon and this DRM Info 2, the safety net. Let's open Telegram. What else? Let's open Flipkart and this Me Home too. So right now, let me just, okay, did I open YouTube? Yeah. So let me open all these apps from memory, Chrome, Facebook, Twitter, Play Store, Instagram, Spotify, Google Home, this recorder app, and the safety net, DRM Info, YouTube. So yeah, right now it is not stuttering at all, even when I'm like switching to a lot of apps. Maybe there was some problems inside, I don't know why. But yeah, right now it is not stuttering at all. It is very smooth. The ROM is working flawlessly. But yes, all along, uh, like I have used this ROM for about more than three or two to three days now. And I have faced all those issues with stuttering. But right now it is simply not happening for some reason. You can of course go to the split screen and stuff with this. And you can pin an app over here. If you want to on the screen, then pause app is there and go to an apps info from here. So yeah, everything is working fine right now, but there was some issues earlier that I have faced. So yep, you can definitely like flash this ROM if you're really willing to and they will add features in the future updates maybe. So yeah, that was my impressions about the Hentai OS on the Redmi K20 Pro based on Android 11. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.